Okay, guys, we are going to try this sixth question out here. It says a biased coin is tossed 160 times. So, so your N is 160. The number of heads obtained H follows a binomial distribution where E of H is 100. So E of H equal to 100 means that your NP is equal to 100. Uh, we know that N is 160, this is P, this is 100. So we can find this P from here. This is 100 over 160, and this is gonna be five over eight. Okay, so this is five over eight. So I can say that this um, H over here is binomially distributed with N as 160, and this is, um, this is five over eight, that is the probability of success. So my P over here is one five by eight. And I can also mention that my Q is going to be three by eight. Okay, so we have this information. We can jump into the B part. It says, um, find the approximate probability, find the approximate probability, um, of obtaining more than 110 heads. So he's asking to find this probability that H is more than 110. Now you have to be very careful while writing this. You have to make sure that if there is an equal mark or not, okay? So since it says more than 110, so I'm just gonna write more than 110. So we have to find this probability that H is more than 110. So uh, we have to approximate this binomial distribution into a normal distribution because you see, this is such a big number. You can't go finding, okay, probability H equal to, you can't do it like this, probability H equal to 111 plus probability H equal to 112 and so on. This is such a hectic work to do. And similarly, you would again, not like to do it like uh, probability, the complement of all of this, that probability um, H equal to, uh, you start from zero, and then you go up to the probability H equal to 110, okay? So this is again, not a good, good way to, solve this. So we have to approximate this binomial distribution uh, as a normal distribution. So now let's say there is, I can introduce X over here. X is normally distributed. So when I say the normally distributed, I need to arrange for the mu and the variance. And luckily we remember these formulas, mu is NP and the variance is NPQ. Okay, we know these formulas. So NP, that is going to be um, 160 times this five by eight. So 160 times five by eight, let's do that. So this is 160 times five by eight. So that is going to be, uh, I think that is 100. Yes? Hmm. It twos are, yeah, okay. And then NPQ, 160 times five by eight times three by eight. So let me find this through the calculator. Three by eight times 100. Three by eight times 100. So that is going to be 37.5. You, you should keep a check on my working here. This is 37.5. So I can mention here that there is a normal distribution whose mean is 100 and whose variance is 37.5. Now finding this probability H more than 110 would mean finding the probability that this X is now, here is the point where that continuity correction would jump in, okay? So you can, what you can do is you can quickly make a rectangle here, okay? So this 110 is going to be between 109.5 uh, and 110.5. So we have to go more than this. 
we have to decide if this rectangle has to be a part of this area or not. So since there's no equal mark, so this can't be the part of this region here. So I would be writing this as greater than 110.5. Does this make, make sense to you guys? Hmm? Yes, but yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Now, <laughs> once you have introduced, you have got this uh, in, into the hands of a normal distribution, the rest is a piece of cake for you because you know that now you will be standardizing this. This would now become Z is greater than, I'm going to use that formula that Z is going to be X minus mu over the standard deviation. Okay. So this is going to be 110.5 minus what was the mean here that is 160 over uh oh this is uh sorry the mean is 100 sorry 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 so this is 100 here is the mean i'm writing this one too. okay so 110 minus the mean which is 100 over the square root of this 37.5 so let's see what do we get from here so this is um let me find that 110.5 minus 100 and divided by the square root of. Now here, normally people make a mistake here that they, they forgot that they forget to take the square root of this variance here, okay? This is gonna be 1.715, okay? This is probability that Z is greater than 1.715. Okay, this is 1.715 here. And you know, we know that this is going to be 1 minus phi of 1.715. We need to go to the table now. This is 1 minus. Let's see what do we have from the table. This is 1.715. So here is 1.7. This is 1, 7, 1. And one, two, three, four, five. This is your fifth value here. So this is going to be 0 0.9568. 0 0.9568. So this is one minus 0.9568. So this is 0 0.0432. 0 so this is the probability for this number of heads to be more than 110. You see how easily we have calculated this probability. Imagine if you had to do this without this convenience, without this facility, without this method here, this uh, had to take a lot of time, okay? So that is the use of this normal approximation or the appropriate approximation of a binomial distribution into a normal distribution. Let me give you a recap of all these steps, guys. You will be given a binomial distribution with the N and the P, uh, like you had to calculate this P in this question. So anyhow, uh, you have this typical binomial distribution here, okay? And then you convert, you, you, you find out a new distribution, an approximate normal distribution, finding, the mean and the variance using these formulas, okay? Sometimes you will be asked that if we can really model this uh, as a normal distribution. So you see, you make sure that your NP and NQ, they are both more than five. So you see that NP is already more than five here. So uh, once you've got that normal distribution here, the next step, which is very important, that is your continuity correction of the continuity error here to be adjusted here, okay? So we are moving from uh, a discrete data into a continuous data. So remember that uh, the way you uh, form that um, class boundaries. So that, that process is done here. And after you have got this uh, done correctly, the rest is going to be really easy for you. You know, you have done this a lot of time uh, while dealing with a normal distribution. Okay, so this is a five marks question. I, I hope you guys have understood this, how to do this, okay? In the next segment, we'll be taking some more examples uh, where we have to convert, uh, we have to have an appropriate approximation of a binomial distribution into a normal distribution.